Okay, so four boxes. You already know what silhouette it is. If you don't know what it is, if you're new tuning into this shit, all Air Jordan ones, all of them. These three right here, one, two, and three at the bottom over here. This one, I got them all on Slam Jam. Okay, and I cannot pass up the opportunity because um, I did not want them to sell out at all, especially this one right here. Um, because it was my first time I knew I was going to be able to score them at least that sort of way. We still got a lot of time here in the U.S. I'm trying to get them centered. We still got a lot of time in the U.S. before we get them. So that's why I really wanted to cop them now before I, I lose the opportunity later. But these ones right here, I had to go a little bit of looking, but not really because they were sitting at a resale, a resale shop that I trust so much with a lot of heat. Because I have like... I don't know if you kind of see it right here. This box right here that I'm pointing at right here. Um, no, it's this one right here at the very bottom. I don't know if you can see my hand. Kind of, there we go. It's over here at the very corner. These right here are some DMP6s that I absolutely fucking trust 100%. As well as these ones. And as well as, um, I think, I know, I think that's the only two pairs I've bought off of them. But in reality, I'm very selective of what I'm going to spend my money on in terms of shoes because do i really want this right here absolutely so i could not pass up the opportunity once i saw that they were dead stock and brand new fresh and everything i i just cannot resist the urge to not buy these motherfuckers right here so and you could probably already see how much i spent on them right fucking there 340 dollars it actually is not correct because i actually messaged them a few months ago because they had a different well, not a different, but they had the exact same pair. However, it was not that stock. And I told them, can you guys honor, you know, a message? You guys told me that uh, you guys could at least like do a little bit better on the price. Because uh, they were selling them for like, yes, this $340. But they had brought them down to like $290. So, and I guess they had a, a used pair, which I, I, I guess it is. I mean, I guess it was or something like that. But I, I didn't see it as used, but... I don't know maybe maybe it's just me i don't know maybe um this is a whole new different pair that they got and brand new and stuff like that but um either way i'm very happy with the way these uh you know turned out i'm really excited about these right here you know these I, i've been waiting for a long time i'm still hoping to get the ones from last year which were black and white and i'll, I'll show you what i'm talking about overall with this thing Black and white, and then I'm still waiting on, I'm still looking for the grays. But before I get any further, I want to go in and box these three right here. These three right here. So let's get into it. First things first, this box right here. You might already know what it is uh, in terms of like the, um, which silhouette exactly. Obviously it's a Jordan 1, but it's a much smaller box compared to the other Jordan 1 boxes. And, um... They, for some reason, this time around, this shape of it came in white and red this time. So, which is really nice. I cannot hate on it. But, um, I was, I was a little bit, a little bit disappointed because I'm so used to the black and red boxes. But regardless though, this is clean. It's a new look. I love it. I, I really do enjoy the, the glistening of the, of the Nike on there on both boxes. But anyways, on to the actual shoe. And there she is, the Air Jordan 1 Low, 85 Neutral Gray. Okay, so these right here, Air Jordan 1 Low, 85 Neutral Gray in the 85 shape, 1985 shape. And these turned out so damn clean. They turned out so damn clean. Uh, I have been wanting to find the high top of these. So if you have these in an eight and a half, um, please let me know in the high top version because i really do want them in the high top version a lot um that was the first 85 i really was gunning for when they first started really rolling them out i know the first ones were back on like 20 was it like 2020 uh which were like the black and no yeah the red and black joints that were releasing it was like a two pack uh of those uh jordans i believe it was also the nike airship with it um and then we had the red and black joints. I'll throw up a picture somewhere uh, of them. But yeah, here we go. This low top right here, man. I've been hearing a lot of good things about this. I heard it's uh, a lot more comfortable than most Jordan 1 lows. So I'm really excited about that. 
Uh, check out that Wings logo, man. It's so clean, man. I really do love it. Jeez Louise. And also, this is also different. It's not a nylon tongue. It's a full-on, like, um, it's like a cloth sort of tongue. I don't know how to, exactly how to explain it, but as you kind of see, it's no longer, um, it's no longer fucking uh, nylon. So it's pretty dope to see that. Uh, I The other shoe was as well the same thing. So, but here we go. Final look before I move on to the next one and start lacing these joints up. That Wings logo is so clean. On to the next one. The Air Jordan 1 Low 85 Metallic Blue. Or Metallic Navy, I mean. I already got an outfit ready for these joints. I already got a whole thing ready for these, man. These are just so gnarly, man. Look at these, bro. Like, are you kidding me? Look at that Wings logo right there. Look at that shine on that thing. That, sh that shine is just so different with the metallic on this thing like golly bro look look on the wings logo on the wings logo on the nike swoosh like look at that oh my god it, it's got that glitter like effect on them man they did a really good job on these i i really i i as soon as i saw these um i don't know if you guys been listening to his new album but schoolboy q blue lips highly recommend that album right now it's insane it's gnarly it's 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 an insane album and as soon as these dropped that's what came to mind is blue lips this came to mind and i think actually no blue lips might have came out after these ones and um as soon as i heard blue lips these came to mind just because like i mean look at this are you kidding me it's just so clean it's just so clean it's just oh man this is this is a gnarly ass summer shoe the other shoe i can't oh man i can't wait for you guys to see that here in a second but look at that man just look at that Oh man, bro, look at that glistening on that beach. That Wings logo, it just, golly, that Wings logo is so gnarly on the back here, man. It's just, it's so awesome. Um, so, oh man, like, the, the same thing with the tongue. It's like cloth sort of tongue. I, I don't know what the hell to really call it, but it's no longer nylon as well. And, um, unfortunately, I don't know why the 85 lows didn't come with, like, that one. Uh, actually, I'll, I'll just show you guys here in a second. I'll, I'll mention it here in a second, but one final look before we move on to a really much needed one i i've been needing the next one for so so damn long but anyways enough about this one time for the next one a high top by the way if you can see this a little bit i uh i stacked it too high on my tower of jordan ones as you can see right here where my hand is at that bitch fell so this was put at the very top i made a huge mistake of doing that and it toppled over while i was at work so fucking sad now the thing is broken over here but anyways here we go. The Air Jordan 1 High 85 Metallic Burgundy. Look at that, man. Just geez louise, bro. And also, by the way, this is what I was referring to for the low tops. Like, I'm really a little bit disappointed, but not too much that they didn't get this little hang tag of the shoes. Which, by the way, this opens up to a little description of uh, how the shoe was all made and what was put into it and all that shit i mean it's it's so interesting to read and it's a pretty cool little thing that they did for the 85s ever since they started them up uh back whenever those other uh varsity red and black joints came out with the nike airships which were also um white and red just like these ones but they weren't metallic or anything like that it was just a whole ass nike airship golly bro this is this is one that i've been needing for such a long time and i mean a long time long time why because i remember seeing these on StockX so long ago i wanted them so bad i wanted them so badly and the fact that i was able to get them already early thanks to slam jam i i'm just so happy like to see this shoe in person finally it's just such a fucking such a pleasure man look at that wings logo that wings logo is just so gnarly on there man they got the they got the metallic part of it right it it looks such it's a beauty man it's such a clean shoe all these shoes really are like summer shoes in my opinion uh at least so far the white ones this other ones you could definitely rock in the winter times but this right here man it's it's nasty man it's it's gnarly but anyways enough about this one moving on to <laughs> the resale one for fuck's sake okay so you can kind of see the box is a little bit beat up we're not going to get too much to it it's very obvious you know it's just when you stack boxes on top of boxes, they're going to either implode or have a little bit of crease in them. So, 
I'll have a little bit of dents in them and little dings, little ripples in them and shit. So it is what it is. I can't be too mad because what's on the inside, it's brand new, fresh. Let's get into it. The Air Jordan 1 High 85 Georgetown. I'm gonna go without the tag this time. Check that out, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Now, these right here. These. And also, these actually did get the nylon tongue real quick. And also in a cream color, which is kind of interesting. I never never expected to see it. It's a nice touch. It definitely fits the shoe, the whole rest of the shoe. But this is clean, man. Like, look at that shit. It has probably a little bit of dirt because I did try one of these on. I don't know. I think it was actually this one that I tried on. Was it? Yeah, it was definitely this one at the store and shit but dude this is oh my god bro like this is fucking gnarly now again to really clarify one thing i don't really spend too much money on shoes necessarily in terms of like resale value on terms of retail absolutely fucking i'd be buying shoes like off the rip so fucking fast okay and so many at one given times it's fucking insane but i do like to keep in mind like if i can get the shoes for retail i'm gonna get them for retail i'm not gonna fucking pay so much on uh, i'm not gonna try to pay resale of the opportunities there now even though i am i i myself am a reseller i do like to put people on to areas where you can find the shoe for its retail price or if they're gonna do a discount on it here very soon uh like for example right now if you go on nike.com i'll put you guys onto this right now nike is doing a discount sale for the Air Jordan 3 Fears and the Air Jordan 1 uh, Yellow Ocaries that came out not too long ago, back in January. So, and you have to, in order to see the price discounted, you have to put it in your cart. That's what will let you know how much it'll be. I'll throw up a screenshot or some shit of what it looks like in my cart right now. Um, those two shoes, even though I have the Fear 3s, okay, just a spoiler, I have the Fear 3s. I'm a huge Halloween fan, so I'm definitely gonna double up on those. Those were our a mandatory double up so i have to get those for sure georgetown 85 high these are by the way if you're wondering real quick 85 highs okay i am a true to size eight but my eight and a half is very comfortable for me and especially with the 85 shape you have to go a slightly bigger size because apparently if you go with your true to size it's going to be very uncomfortable so if you're thinking about grabbing the metallic, bur uh, metallic burgundies in a few months when they release finally here in the US and the low tops that are currently available now, I'd say go with a higher size because you could definitely feel the snug uh, fit, the snug feel on these 85 uh, shapes. So don't don't mess it up. Just, I mean, if you want, if you have the opportunity to try it out before then in person, go for it, okay? If you have the opportunity, go for it. But if not, definitely, you know, fucking go for that um eight and a half right there see i went with my eight and a half and shit and um just go you know just try it on you know if it fits perfectly at your true to size but if you feel uncomfortable definitely go up that size you know um i have small ass feet to be honest with you guys i mean i didn't realize how small my feet were until like 2020 or some shit like that and i had like size nine shoes it's fucking ridiculous dude anyways enough about the shoe we're gonna start off with this one lacing it up because i'm really excited about this one Okay, so since the tag's on the left side, I'm going to go and use this motherfucker right here. Okay, you can't really see the shoe, but like, I mean, I don't know how I'm going to... Oh, wait, 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 wait. Yeah, fuck it, right there. I know, I know that's kind of awkward, but it is what it is. So, enough about shoes for a minute. How have you guys been? Huh? How have you guys been? I've been uh, a little bit busy, and you guys saw that I posted uh some shorts onto the channel a little bit um of some sneakers that i'm selling and um i like to really be very very clear about one thing like i mentioned just uh not too long ago i will put you on the guys on to you guys with a lot of things in terms of sales and where they're happening if i get to them on time for you guys but uh, a lot of the times I don't some because I'm not even sure where everything is at like I do like to do my research on things but at the same time it's like sometimes you'll see something's going on sale and then it'll just disappear so quickly like I I I remember that um I don't know if it's the same discount they're doing right now on Nike for those yellow orchids and then uh what else was it the um 
Um, I know the sixes went on sale too, actually, the yellow orchid sixes and then the threes. So I, I really wanted to buy all three of those shoes at one all at once because I got my tax money, which by the way, that's the only reason why I spent so much on these is because I had the tax money and I was like, fuck it, I'm gonna go on and do it. Uh, let me stand up for this shit because I gotta, gotta do this whole thing. Um, but like I was saying, I don't mind putting people on to, you know, uh, getting shoes for discount, especially if you get them from Nike at a discount because recently, in my opinion, a lot of the times... Nike has been failing on the quality side of things. And uh, it's pretty, pretty fucking annoying. And if you don't know what I'm doing right now, I'm trying to like um, match up my lace uh, lengths up here at the top. Looks like they're pretty good. I'm going to start doing this shit. There goes the first one. And here comes the second one. I tried to make these as flat as possible because I hate whenever it looks all twisted and all weird and shit whenever you finally go to lace them up on your feet and they just look all sorts of weird. So I'm trying to like leave my fingers right here on the actual shoe itself and just pass the, the laces on through, makes them look flat, makes them look smooth. So please appreciate my uh, sophisticated manner of doing this. So. It doesn't look all janky. But anyways, there's been a lot of sales on Nike lately. There's been a shit ton of sales on Nike shoes, Jordans, and all sorts of shit. By the way, um, did you guys ever, uh, did you guys ever cop the uh, Air Jordan 9 Powder Blues? Because I'm definitely going to try to cop a pair because I know they were sitting for a little bit. and um, Or at least they're sitting right now. At least as, as far as I've seen so far. But um... I definitely want to cop a pair. I love Air Jordan 9s. Uh, I regret passing up on so many other 9s that I've uh, had the opportunity of buying. And my dumbass just said, for some reason, no. <laughs> so, uh, I'm going to move this over. I'm going to really try to get this shoe mostly. I passed up on patent leather Jordan 9s that I really wanted, which were, um, I think it was like, fuck, I can't even remember. It was the, um, the white and red leather joints that released a few years back i'm gonna try to find a picture of them and i also passed up on the red and blue um pan leather joints that they released a couple years ago those two shoes i really really want for sure like if you got them if you got proof of purchase by the way if i ever say that i want shoes from y'all make sure you got that proof of purchase because i will not buy the sneaker without uh, a proof of purchase um the reason why is because i don't mind telling even like even though i'm a reseller i don't mind telling people where i get my shoes from to be honest with you i just want you guys to feel 100 percent sure whenever you're shopping with me about these things okay this part's a bit of a pain in my ass right here but um try to figure it out real quick there's one there goes two and it's kind of twisted shit. No, there we go. We got it. We got it. Anyways, back to what I was saying about... Um, I don't even know what I was just saying. Fuck, I, I completely lost my train of thought with this. What was I going to say? Oh, so I think I was talking about the Jordan 9s, right? So yeah, the 9s, I passed up on so many good-looking uh, Jordan 9s. I really fucking regret it. Because ultimately, 9s are probably like the most... One of the more like, in my opinion, like battle ready looking fucking shoes these are so weird whoa unless i fuck this up was it supposed to be all the way at the top i don't even know because these are 85s dude these are these are a little bit weird are we sure this is going the right way fuck i don't even know does that look right to you guys hold on give me one second i know these are modern but i'm gonna have to use it as reference for fuck's sake No, I got it right. At least in terms of like how I do the modern shape for that little piece. But damn, this is a little bit more difficult than I anticipated. Stop the cap. <laughs> is what it is. Fuck it. Here, I'm going to just go ahead and full send it. Um, I know it's not going to look the prettiest right now, but it is what it is. Does it? 
Damn, dude, these motherfuckers are like... These are different, bro. What the fuck? No, these are definitely different. Hold on. Jesus Louise. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm trying to get a little bit faster at doing this so the videos don't drag on so much, but I will say this is like a form of therapy for me. <laughs> Some because, like, it really is like a peaceful sort of moment for me to just be able to lace up my dog, so why not? Look at that. Okay, there we go. We're getting somewhere. We're getting somewhere. Yes, sir. Dude, I lost my complete train of thought doing this shit, so I have no idea what we were talking about previously, but all I know right now is that I want to talk about some releases that are coming out here pretty soon in the next fucking month or so. Um, or the next few months, I guess. Not the next month, because I have no idea what's been going on for the next few months. I've been, I've been mostly focused on, like, New Balance. I don't know if I'm the only one on that train right now, but I've been focused on New Balance, bro. New Balance has been like the way to go for a minute now, you know what I mean? And uh, quite frankly, I, uh, I've i been enjoying what they've been doing over there in New Balance, you know, it's been kind of crazy. I know they had that one collaboration with a, uh, a female, uh, I believe she's a tennis player, right? I, I don't 100% uh, recall um, who exactly it was, but all I know is that that collab looked eerily similar to a Joe Fresh Goods collab. <laughs> so, uh, and I'll throw up some pictures here in a minute, but first, let's go ahead and look at that. Bro, that's just so clean. The gray laces and everything is just so fucking early. Man, this is so different. Like this is tripping me up a little bit. Like that's that's a little bit lower on the modern ones. I, like I said, I never had anything remotely to my to the 85 collection whatsoever until now. I have all these four pairs, so that's why I'm trying to get these um laced up because i know i'm gonna wear them here probably in the next few months honestly but um we'll see i mean this is fuck that's so different dude but so it's so clean though it's just so so clean let me get these out of the way give one final look before we move on to the next one look at that they're all laced up looking all pretty and shit all the laces look pretty flat to me man these are fucking gnarly man i love them by the way i didn't i don't know if you kind of oh there it is you see that tag right there also didn't show that off. It has like a whole like model number, code, uh, patent, I believe is the word. Last, I think the I think that says mold, size, color, date, and remark. And uh, yeah, but check that out. It's a whole little tag in there. I, I don't know why the other ones don't have it, but I, I think they might. I think the 85 Burgundies do, but... Anyways, yeah, like I said, one final look before we move on to the high, other high tops. We're going to move on to the burgundies right now. These are so fucking gnarly, bro. Same thing here. Since this motherfucker has a tag on it, I'm just going to go in and lace these joints on the right side. So here we go. I completely lost my train of thought about what was I saying. I, I fucking, man, dude, I've been so focused on so many other things. Uh, like I mentioned earlier, you guys uh, saw the shorts that I posted. Um... If you guys need those shoes, by the way, we do have them available right now on our reselling page right now. Um, and uh, Den of Heat a little bit. I, I really did lose my train of thought. I'm so sorry. I'm so bad at keeping track of what the fuck I'm saying. Den of Heat, right? I, uh, I've been a little bit on pause with it, but I finally revamped a little bit of things. I finally kind of like remodeled some shit over there on our page. I got bored of like the usual like putting shoes in front of the white background so it looks clean and this and that especially now since i have um especially now since i have this uh this 24 ultra i uh i've been using it like a madman with new camera and shit like that 200 mega 200 megapixels is the way to go uh whenever doing that kind of shit it's been it's been fun using that, that camera a lot i uh as soon as i realized how nice the camera really was to the shoes and stuff like that and how nice it just brought out all the colors and the clarity and all that shit i did not want to go back i did not want to go back to anything else it really has been such a, a great phone lately by the way um which by the way that video of me unboxing them 2k views absolutely fucking gnarly i appreciate all of y'all especially if you shared it especially all the likes and all that stuff to me, the comments, uh, I don't really read the comments too much. I mean, I, I do like looking at some points of feedback, but mostly, I mean, shit. It's, it's, been, uh, it's been fun watching that video grow the way it's been growing. Anyways, let me stand up for these ones too, because these motherfuckers, I can tell a little bit, are 
Actually, no, I don't need to do that. There we go. Let me see. I think that might be good. Maybe. I don't know. We straight. We straight. Now, all that needs to fucking release now is the blue version of these joints right here. These are so fucking clean. I really do need its brethren. I really do need the blue ones to come out. Now that I have the low top ones, man, they, they better do those A1. They better fucking do those ones A1 like a motherfucker. Let me see real quick here. There we go. So I think like an Instagram 2000 fucking 17, 18, some shit like that. When I was first buying, uh, well, I know it was 18. That I first really started getting into shoes. Um, even though I was buying like mid tops and Air Force Ones and all that shit. I, um, uh, I started noticing a lot of posts about this shoe in particular. And also it's, like I said, it's brother in the blue one. When I saw both of these, I really fucking wanted them, and as well as the uh, the yin yang pack, those black and white, and then white and black Jordan One highs. Those ones, oh man, I really really need those ones to come back out again because those ones, uh, I'm a huge person on like yin yang sort of stuff. That that symbol, I can't think of off the top of my head, but uh, when I see those Jordans in particular, it's pretty badass to see them the way that they uh, they were shaped out to be. So. I really hope they do come back out with that pack here pretty soon, but for now, these will have to do. Let me see. Crossing this one again. Okay, here we go. Let's see if it's the same, same energy. Yeah, that shit. That shit is so much more higher, bro. Fuck me, dude. It's so weird not having a nylon, nylon tongue, dude. It's so fucking weird. I don't mind it, but I just know this material could definitely get fucking uh, dirtier faster for sure there we go fuck yeah there we go okay so now through the hole here so i'm trying to get these a little bit done faster because at the same time there's four whole fucking shoes dude anyways all right last one last loops i know these are much shorter i gotta fucking pull these all in so in order it looks for it to look nice and shit but we'll get to that later there we go. Sometimes whenever it's just like so twisted, I just pull them right here. By the way, I don't leave my shit on lace. So like I said, I'm going to go with like, there's so much slack on all this shit down here. So I'm going to pull on those later on. Okay. I'm going to just leave it like that for now, but check that out. That one's finished, ready to go. I could honestly leave it like that and it just work out perfectly fine. But like I said, I love lacing up my shoes. So actually tying up my shoes, I mean, and um, that's the way I'm going to stick with it. But anyways, Metallic Burgundy 85, all laced up, ready to go onto the low tops. A few minutes later. I had to take a quick little pause because it, I was burning like a motherfucker and I took off my sweater. So uh, here we go. Metallic navies now. These are so fucking clean. Anyways, shoes are one thing, but music is a whole fucking different thing, okay? Blue Lips, Schoolboy Q. What a fucking album, man. What a fucking album. Blue Lips, I mean, in my opinion, really, okay, that shit is 100% better than any album that has released in the last few years. Like, I really do think Q has outdone himself, especially with, um, especially with some of the work he's kind of dropped lately. Uh, I know last year, was it last year or was it a few years ago? I, I think it was a few years ago now. Um, he dropped that one song, Soccer Dad. I enjoyed that song. Um, now, I, I definitely know you motherfuckers are thinking like, oh, this motherfucker's dick riding like a sh bitch. But in reality, to me, Soccer Dad, I actually did enjoy. I enjoyed the beat. I uh, have a very, very, you know, shallow palette of music. It's mostly Black Hippie. It's J-Rock. It's Absol. It's Kendrick. And it's Schoolboy Q. Um, those are the four main people I really listen to the most, okay, out of anybody else in the industry. Now, that's not to say that I don't listen to anybody else, okay, because that would be a fucking lie, okay? I don't just solely listen to those four guys, but they're the majority of my shit, you know? By the way, just to let you guys know, okay, now, this is not something that, like I'm bragging about or whatever, but I don't really use, like, Spotify or anything of that shit because slowly as I'm, like, growing older and all that stuff, 
to me, I actually like buying the CDs of these guys, all of them. Like even other artists such as like J. Cole, I definitely listen to J. Cole. But I, um, the more I see the way that things work in the industry, the more I'm just like, I don't want to use Spotify to support them because at the same time, they're not really getting the money that they deserve. They're not getting truly that, that good, um, uh, money because what, what I mean by this, like they're getting money, right? They're, they're absolutely getting good money out of it. But at the same time, it's like, it's better to buy the CD because I feel like they have, you know, for sure a thing going on there, right? Because as soon as your trial or your fucking monthly is up with, um, with Spotify or Apple Music or whatever the fuck you use to stream music, they're no longer making money off of those listens. They're no longer making money off of them. And um, it, it's kind of like a shit ass way of supporting artists, in my opinion. At, at least it's support. I won't deny it. At least it's support. But it really is frustrating to hear like, uh, as soon as, you know, your subscription is over, you know, you're basically no longer supporting the artist to the fullest extent that you can. Uh, at least by streaming up his music and shit, their music. Fuck, this is a little bit tougher than the high tops for fuck's sake. Okay, also this is this one's a little bit fucking like folded a little bit. This this lace on this side. Fuck. Okay, here's the other fucking struggle for fuck's sake. God damn, this is such a pain in my ass. One of my biggest fears, by the way, even though it's just a foam piece right now, I know it kind of pulls like little strings of like fabric or whatever the fuck from this shit and it makes me worry because i don't want to tear up the tongue whatsoever because the moment you tear up tear up any bit of the tongue it's fucking game over dude it's it's you're gonna end up having a lot of issues later down the road if you have anything it, it, it's small like small little tears that kind of will fuck up the rest of the shoe over time and in, in i say in overtime but in reality it's like a quick you know, a couple months, like six months, maybe to a year, it'll fucking end up all messed up. Um, I know I had that issue with some shoes, but there may or may not be Nike, Nike's a uh, bitch ass lack of quality. So I know it's been a shit show with uh, Nike lately in terms of quality. I just, oh my God, it's it's been a it's been a ride with them in terms of quality. I will say with this shoe right here, I'll show you guys here in a second. Check out that leather, man. Look at that. That is just so... I It's because I have this thing too. Let me take it out real quick. That is soft, brother. Look at that. That is soft, bro. This is... Oh, man, dude. These are so fucking gnarly, man. Um, like, And also, the outfit that I am putting together with these whenever it comes down to it, 100% is inspired by Schoolboy Q. 100%. I mean, I got... Uh, I don't want to ruin it, but it's just... Uh, it, let's just say... In recent memory, it's inspired by Schoolboy's Q, Schoolboy Q's style as of late. So, just pay attention to what he wears, kind of like especially in recent videos that he's been in, and um, just put these with him or put them on on him to get the idea across. But um, as soon as as soon as uh, Blue Lips dropped, I thought about these shoes or whatever the fuck came first. I I can't remember, but I will say with Blue Lips, I've been on repeat, bro. I've been on repeat. I mean, it's just such a classic ass album. So far, my favorite song out of the whole album, it's it's kind of a clear winner for me, even though I'm like very hesitant to say what really is truly my favorite song, simply because I know what's my favorite song because it's been on repeat, but I don't want to just say that I listen to that solely, but because it, it really is not, but I, it's definitely on repeat a lot. Um, but I'd say probably it's either between Lovebirds or Smile. But Lovebirds though, my God. That, whoo, <laughs> Lovebirds. Lovebirds is my motherfucking personality, bro. That shit, oh man. Like I'd be, I be slow dancing to that shit. I've been like, you know, doing my thing and shit, you know, slow dancing and shit with that at the very end with Devin Malik and shit. Uh, there we go, that's the, Final look of the shoe right there, all laced up, ready to go. Uh, they, it's kind of a little bit twisted on that part, but I'll fix it later. I'm more worried about getting this video done. But there we go, one final look. That's what it looks like with all laced up and everything like that. Looks super simple, super clean. Fuck, dude, look at that wings logo in the back, bro. Oh, man. Blue lips. Moving on to our last shoe. 
here we go last one i will say leather quality on this one it's decent i'll have to take out actually let's just go and test that theory out right now yeah it's not as it's not as soft as the the navy joints but i don't know if maybe that's quality control issues or it's supposed to be that way but uh it is what it is it's cool don't mind it it still looks clean brand new fresh and all that stuff the one thing i did not like about these is that fucking yellow or like aged sole whatever the fuck they, that vintage sole whatever the fuck i don't know because i just know for a fact when these first came out they didn't actually have that fucking midsole to it so it is what it is I still love the shoe but um i like them I, I really like to see it all nice and white and crispy but anyways here we go but yeah blue lips man i mean that's an album really that i've been i've been really considering it like i i love kendrick lamar i love absol and i love j-rock a lot but every time i listen to some shit from schoolboy q it really resonates so fucking well with me like insanely well um one track that i was really on repeat for the longest time was john muir from his blank face lp that fucking song it, okay the one thing about john muir okay the one thing about john muir right that song in particular so the when i listen to john muir okay it brings a sort of like hardcore feeling of like the gangster side, or I guess, for me, not so much the gangster side, but it's more like the Agents of Chaos side uh, of me. Because I really do like experiencing, like, crazy shit every once in a while. And it's no, it's no fucking, um, no fucking wonder why I love listening to John Muir so much. is because it goes from, j just like Lovebirds, it goes from being this, like... Uh, this not chaotic but like you know telling a hardcore story this and that you know i'm done the flat line a homie never been soft belling through the motherfucking streets y'all like it goes from this gangster story to then when you listen to the chorus and it's like all on me though you know that fucking flow is just so badass the flow of that and the way it sounds um it's just so badass like it, it's like goes from something so like menacing and then when you listen to the chorus it kind of gives off like a peaceful sort of feeling i'm gonna stuff this back in here but john muir for me was on repeat for so fucking long dude like i um even though that came out years ago when i listened to it the first time i uh wasn't very appreciative of it the first time around you know the the whole the whole the whole album i appreciated but I didn't appreciate it enough and other tracks I'm, I'm trying to go back to see what can be on repeat as well uh, even though on blue lips right now I'm on hardcore repeat with fucking blue uh, with lovebirds and um, and with smile I like going back to other tr to other albums of these artists and just having something on repeat why N moments of nostalgia but not just moments of nostalgia just things that I didn't appreciate enough at the moment of time that I was listening to it the first time around. And John Muir ain't no motherfucking, you know, exception. That song, oh man. Oh man, like that song, fuck dude. The, the course of it, the, the it just, it's such a badass song, dude. Like, I don't know, I don't know how to explain it. I really do love, um, I really do love um, Schoolboy Q's John Muir so much. By the way, Something that I'm really proud of, proud to say is that I actually wrote a uh, I wrote a paper on Schoolboy Q back in high school, and um, I am proud to say that when I wrote that paper, I still have it with me, by the way. I'll show it off in some other video, but hopefully, actually, I hope, fuck, dude, I would love to show him the paper so he can see, because I know uh, he talks a lot about how. Um, how much he he really cared about uh, his education and all that shit. So, uh, which is awesome to fucking hear because a lot of people just nowadays just don't take their education seriously, man. I'm one of those motherfuckers. I am one of those motherfuckers, hands down. I did not take my education seriously, but at the same time though, that report that I'm telling you that I made on Schoolboy Q, I promise y'all motherfuckers it would be proud of me because the one thing the teacher did not want us to do was plagiarize so much on our paper. 
uh, of who it basically was like, you know, um, just choose a celebrity, do a paper on them, you know, and uh, um, tell them, tell us about their lives and this and that. I'm fucking up this process. Tell us about their lives and, you know, what uh, what they do and, you know, where they were born and this and that, yada, yada, yada. Well, I thought about Schoolboy Q. And I'm proud to say that whenever she processed it on a fucking uh, website where it would check the paper for any sort of uh, plagiarism, I am proud to say that my paper, I believe, either was 99% free of plagiarism or I think it was 100% free of plagiarism. I was so fucking happy. Everybody, everybody, I mean, every fucking body. And whoever's watching from that class, you know I'm telling the fucking truth because you were just as surprised as I was when I did this shit. I knew I wasn't necessarily surprised at the fact that I, I didn't do plagiarism because I know I didn't fucking do it. I remember to put those fucking quote symbols all the fucking time. But, man, I was proud, bro. Like that... That paper, man, I'm telling you, bro, I'm a oh, fuck, dude. Like, I, when it came to shit that I cared about in terms of, like, applying it at, uh, at high school, at, at school in general, I mean, dude, I, I could not be fucking toppled. I could not be fucking stopped, brother. Like, I, I fucking love talking about the shit that I actually care about. By the way, I also have an art piece that I never finished, and I'm gonna go back to see if I can not, not grab it. I'm gonna go ahead and leave it for her to use it for future reference for other students um but there was this art piece right that i never fucking finished in high school where it, i think it was my junior year that i did it so if that's if you're, my art teacher's watching this ever i apologize for never finishing that shit because it was so fucking fire what i did i i, I just to be honest with you i don't know what happened teach i don't know what happened i just lost my I, I don't know what happened i lost my inspiration or my motivation i don't know what the fuck happened i was just sitting there like this all the fucking time with it and looking down at it i just i don't know what happened i don't know what the fuck happened to be honest with you i don't know but basically one of my favorite songs if not my favorite song of all time is by absol uh featuring kendrick lamar illuminate illuminate even though i had john Muir on repeat even though i had uh damn on repeat Mr. Morale and the Big Steppers on repeat. Redemption on repeat. Blue Lips on repeat. That song will never, ever be skipped for me. That song, I, whenever I first heard it on GTA 5, brother, brother, the radio stopped playing that fucking song for me all the time, like on the game. It just pissed me off so much, but I am basically morphed Kendrick Lamar's face and Absol's face together and what I wanted to do on the back was write the title of the song in cursive and make it all look all fancy and shit like that on the back um but it was a whole painting of them it was just them two both morphed together um to make it you know uh look like it was one face basically um I, I definitely won't be, I won't have a picture anywhere of that shit, you know, but let's just say I was super proud of that fucking project, at least for what I left it as for the moment, but am I going to make that shit again? Yeah. Yeah, I'm going to make that shit again because I'm, I'm going to do it for this fucking channel. That's what I'm going to do. But real quick, there we go. That's what it looks like all laced up and nice and shit, all smooth. You know, that's, man, such a clean ass shoe. But anyways, like I was saying with my art piece. One final look real quick. Like I was saying with my art piece, I ended up um, not finishing it and never got done properly. Uh, I know I absolutely fucking disappointed my teacher with that one because it was such a cool idea. Everybody was doing just one fucking face, everybody. And I came in with like, hey, you think I could do, uh, you know, morphing two faces at the same time? Like, can I morph two artists together? And uh, she was okay with it. She actually really loved the idea. And my dumbass just was like, uh, I completely lost motivation. But am I going to do it for this channel? Fuck yeah. So art teacher, if you're watching this at all, I promise you it's going to get finished. I promise. I don't know when, but it's going to get finished. I promise. So be on the lookout for that. Okay. I promise. But I'm going to bring in the rest of the shoes. Okay. So that's it. 
they're all laced up at least in terms of the right shoe in this case uh, of the pairs but here we go one final look the Air Jordan 1 high 85 metallic burgundies all laced up looking all pretty and fresh ready for the motherfucking summer dude these are so fucking gnarly man I swear to fucking god bro I can't, I can't believe I finally have this shoe, bro. There's just so many years in the making, bro. I'm so fucking happy. The Air Jordan 1 High 85 Georgetowns. Man, same fog, dude. These are so fucking early. I've been wanting these for a, for a long ass minute. Anyways, one thing about these, okay, in terms of the high top, the black and white joints and the neutral grays, I still need those. If you have those in the eight and a half, I greatly appreciate it. So, and a plus, a huge plus if you have proof of purchase with every single one of those shoes. But anyways, here we go. One final look before I head off. Look at them laces, all smooth and clean. Golly, bro, this is just so fucking awesome to finally have. The Air Jordan 1 Low, metallic navies, again, reminds me so much about blue lips bro like this the wings logo is just so gnarly on the back bro this just they did it so cleanly dude i can't get over that wings logo bro it's just so fucking awesome but anyways like i said this outfit oh man i can't wait for y'all to see that shit it's gonna look so fucking gnarly golly there's this blue on the well it doesn't really look too good on the camera but anyways yeah check that out final look before i head out I can't wait for you guys to see that motherfucking outfit here pretty soon. It's, it's going to come alive soon. You'll see. Air Jordan 1 Low, 85, neutral grays. I need that high top, bro. I really do need that high top of these joints, man. Golly. These, I, I was really hyped when they were they, they were first releasing last year, I think it was. But I just, for some reason, I just didn't want to pull the trigger until now. For some reason, I don't know why. But there we go. One final look. And, um... Yeah, man, these are just so, so fucking early. I didn't even show off the laces of the navies either, but real quick, I might, I might or may not have, I don't know, but there we go. Both the shoes laced up and everything ready to go for the summer. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Can't wait for another episode of this shit because I really do enjoy lacing up these fucking shoes. Now that these are basically ready, I'm going to go ahead and lace up the other one. They'll be good to go. Can't wait for the summer. They're going to look so fucking early. Hopefully, a concert. I could wear these at. Hopefully, Q. Hopefully, you come to KC. But anyways, thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Take care. Be safe.